What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to kickflip. All right, first thing to do with kickflip. You gotta know how to ollie. It's the foundation to every trick there is. Everybody's kickflips are gonna be a lot different, so whatever you're comfortable with, that's what you gotta kinda stick to. My kickflips, I take my front foot and they're usually placed on top of these two front bolts. I angle it at about 45 degrees. A lot of people, they'll stick their, their toes behind it. They'll stick their foot way up here. They'll stick it way down here, way up top. This is how I, this is how I stick with mine. It's just like an Ollie, but instead of bringing this front foot straight up and back down, you're gonna angle that front foot at about a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna wanna snap it down and flick right in that pocket right there. Now anytime you're kick flipping, you gotta have your shoulders straight. Anything, you gotta make sure that you're staying with the board because you gotta get ready for the landing. What I see a lot of the times when people are trying to learn kick flips for the first time, they always end up just sticking that back foot straight to the ground. You're not jumping high enough, you gotta go with the board. Just like an ollie, you're gonna be picking up that back foot. But instead of just lifting that, that front foot straight up, you gotta remember, you gotta flick in this pocket. You gotta be ready for that landing that's gonna happen. It's in about three steps. You got hop, flick, stick. So anytime you're getting ready for it, remember, you're gonna be popping, flicking. When the board comes down, you gotta get ready to stick on it. Now, it took me a long time to actually learn kickflips. I, I started out learning heel flips, but now I just absolutely dread learning that trick because I'm so bad at it. Probably took me probably took me about six months just to learn how to kickflip. And eventually, once I got comfortable with it, I was able to just start getting them more consistently. Skateboarding, it's it's a hundred percent commitment. You you have to try to try to stick with it. Don't get angry at it. It's going to take some time to learn. Now just remember, when you're learning how to kickflip, honestly, my best advice, don't, don't be sticking your board in a crack to where you're, you're standing still. Don't be trying to stand in the grass doing kickflips. Standing still kickflips are definitely a lot harder than if you're just kind of at like a free stand. Right now, I have a harder time kickflipping if I'm just standing still. Sure, it feels more comfortable, but it just feels a lot more natural to be moving, even if you're going slow with it. Now another thing you can do, you can definitely try to learn kickflips out of banks. Usually you don't have to pop as hard versus if you're on flat ground. So we'll try some of those out. Now every now and then, kickflips aren't gonna go your way. You can't be afraid to hit primo. Oh God. <laughs> you can't be afraid to bail with this trick. <laughs> That's just a part of skateboarding. So just remember when you're doing those kickflips, you gotta have that front foot at a 45 degree angle. Don't be sticking your foot way too far up. Don't be sticking it too far back. Having it too far up, you're not gonna be able to flip the board at all. Having it too far back, it's gonna flip too fast. You kinda just wanna find that happy medium. Now eventually you're gonna get comfortable with kickflips. Once you make it to that point, that's kinda when you can start taking them off things, up things, whatever you wanna do with them. Like the video, so I'm 